is adenine's role against cancer. Hello, I am Dr. Colleen Huber, and it's May 18, 2018. Today I want to talk to you about a nutrient that you've likely never even heard of, adenine, which used to be called vitamin B4, but not so much anymore. Because now we know that adenine is a part of other B vitamins, B2 and B3 specifically. Adenine is crucial to our building of DNA and RNA, and that gives the genetic code that allows us to carry on traits from our ancestors and to create new cells from those templates. But today we are more interested in another role of vitamin B4, or adenine. That role is in the major energy molecule of all life. I am talking about ATP. ATP is also known as adenosine triphosphate, and adenine, or vitamin B4, is an essential precursor molecule of ATP. Adenine, in turn, also is necessary to make new RNA and DNA, as well as to carry out just about every major function in our cells. ATP can be seen as a basic unit of energy for cells, so adenine is therefore thought of as one of the most essential molecules for life. Let's now look at how a lack of adenine can contribute to cancer. We saw in some of my previous videos how if the electron transport chain is damaged or shut down, it can lead to cancer. Adenine is an essential component of the final end product we need to avoid cancer. Right here at this point in the electron transport chain, right here near the end, we may not have enough adenine to make ADP, which is a precursor molecule to ATP. If we don't have enough to make ATP, then the whole road gets closed off again. See how you need all of your nutrients? If you don't have enough adenine to make ATP, then the road is blocked. And again, traffic, biochemical traffic, that is, the flow of your food molecules, that traffic gets diverted over to the cancer pathway. What you need is to provide yourself the necessary nutrients to keep all of this pathway open and let metabolism flow along its normal pathway. Food sources of adenine are green leafy vegetables, cayenne pepper, berries, whole grains, I am so happy you are taking an interest in the nutrients that help prevent cancer. That is very gratifying. Please remember that the inactive forms of B vitamins must be converted by a process called methylation that occurs in the liver in order to become active bioavailable forms, which can be absorbed and used by the body. I'm Dr. Colleen Huber. It is May 18, 2018, and thanks for watching.